Hey, it's Susan, and I know I'm not quite done with my grow room yet, but it's time to start seeding, and I just wanted to show you guys this cool new little seeding tool I picked up from this Japanese agriculture place. I saw it in a farmer group that I'm part of on Facebook, and it was so cool. I think it's going to save me so much time, and I want to show you how it works. Okay, so I've got my 128 trays that I just have filled with my basic um, organic pro mix seed starting mix I usually use. Um, I like to use my um, popper here as a dibbler. Um, in the season, this will actually double as a popper to pop out my seedlings from underneath here. Um, but pre-season, I like to just use it as a dibbler. It just um, push it down here and it makes a small little hole, a little indentation in my trays so that my seeds have a place to go. Um, sometimes I found in my first run through this guy that it goes in the hole and there's a couple times that every once in a while it doesn't go in the hole and I just have to use my finger and push it down. But okay so check this out there's this little teeth down here and these little teeth grab onto the edge of the tray and they turn and then all the seeds up here are going to turn and drop into the holes. Previously, I was taking my seeds and going boop, 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 one at a time. Maybe a little bit faster than that. Maybe like doop, 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 doop. But I had to stand there with my hand cupped like this with seeds and the other hand here just going like this and counting and making sure I didn't miss any. Okay, but check this guy out. He's just going to sit up here at the top and he's got this little bar here that lines him up with the edge of my tray. And then I just zip him across like that. And it's like a little tiny mini cedar for my trays that I can just boom, 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 boom. One in every hole. Just like that. This is so much better than putting, having a hand cupped with all these little seeds and then going in. Um, these are pelleted seeds, so I'm actually seeding Salanova right now, um, but I have another one that I'll show you later that is for brassica type seeds, round seeds like um, cabbages and broccoli and stuff like that. But there we go. We are so close to just about being done here. Zippity doo da. That is so cool. This is going to save me so much time. And then I don't know if you can see in the video, but there's a couple here, a couple seeds that I noticed didn't quite make the holes. So I'm just going to quick pop those in really quick so that they have a little bit more contact with the dirt. Um, yeah, that's it. The rest of them look like they made it great and I can see them in there. Um, I always like to sprinkle just a little bit of vermiculite on top. This kind of holds the moisture in um, to help with germination. And then, and then that's it. We are done. This guy is ready for the germination rack and to grow out. And these would be some beautiful salad mix coming up in another month and a half or so.